No. You know, that's exactly what we're talking about. The buyer process is so unique now. Now think about this. In the last how many years? 10, 15? Things have radically changed, haven't they? In the 1990s, um, so it's a little bit longer, that's when the internet thing started. It became mainstream about 15 years ago. I remember buying a computer. I remember, laugh when you hear this video, please laugh. Um, I remember buying a video that had 300 as the speed of the clock. And now we're talking like three gigahertz. The 300 megahertz was where we were starting. Actually started off with 100, upgraded to three, and then we had a, a, I think it was a two gigabyte hard drive, and that was huge back then. And of course that computer um, didn't work that well, um, but it worked well for what we needed it to do. We did a lot of business with that. And so now we've got computers that are hundreds, thousands of times faster. Information is traveling faster than you've ever dreamed possible. And in my book, I talk about, you know, the speed of information. Why? Because it's literally changing things overnight. And how you follow up and how you uh, get a hold of those web leads and the time that it takes you, you are 100 times less likely to, you know, you know on a web lead, 100 times less likely if you wait from 5 minutes to 60 minutes to get that person as a client. So if you phone them within 5, right, you're going to get them at a certain level, a certain percentage are going to come with you. If you phone them only 55 minutes later, it's a hundred times less likely you're going to get them. Now that's radically different. And the interesting part is, most companies may get that at some level, and they've actually got a social media and a web kind of uh, context. And I got to admit, I was just like these companies. We didn't have a strategy um, to, of how to get back to people faster. We're still working that through. And so just like all the rest of the companies, you know, it's something that's apparent in the evolution right now that the statistics are showing us what to do, but we're not keeping up to the statistics because it's traveling so fast. You got to know those things about what buyers are doing. Now think about what all this is about too, because now we've got so many different styles of buyers. You know, got Generation Y, got Generation X, you got your pre-boomers, you got your boomers, you got your post-boomers. They all have different motivation. They all have different ways that they communicate. They all have different things that really tick them off and they have different values. And so you can be talking to somebody, a Generation X person, and if you treat them like a baby boomer, they may not like that. Just saying. And if you do that for a Generation Y, younger folk, younger people, um, I gotta tell you, they won't, they'll look at you and they'll glaze over and they won't even hear you won't even hear you. And so you've got to know how to handle all of those different sectors as well. And that is, ex you know, another, you know, kind of um, consideration that we haven't even put into the equation yet. It's just something that you've got to know. It's never been this difficult in history to talk to a buyer um, and really connect with them. You know, so rapport building is only good as much as we make it about this big uh, because it's a lot more than just having the good speak. Matter of fact, those people that actually have the gift of the gab in sales do statistically much, much less than everybody else because you can over talk the whole scenario. So you might say, well, I'm a little bit quiet. Well, fantastic. <laughs> if you're an introvert, introverts can sell exceptionally well, just like extroverts. Um, as long as you're controlling what you're doing in the process and helping that person get what they want, you're going to provide the results. And that's important. So, hey, you know, we've covered a lot of information here, but we've talked about our sales process and how it's changed. We've talked about you know, um, what's going on when it comes to buyers and how they've changed. We've talked about salespeople, and I gotta tell you, there's lots I could teach you about salespeople because I train them all the time. But just the, the demographics of what is there, if you've got a great model, one thing, but if you have all the other demographics on top of that, it becomes you know, kind of really difficult to fluke your way through this. That won't work. So we're going to get really clear about what's the next step for you as we go through these videos so I can show you how to make it simple because I believe it's simple. You'll probably put it to use and it'll probably affect you. And if I can get you to double your sales in 60 days or, or 90 days, literally in one of our programs, um, the amount of work that you're doing is the same. The amount of cash in your pocket doubles. And to me, that just creates a lot of great things for a lot of uh, you know, people we like anyway that are our clients and we help them out. It's wonderful to hear success stories like that. That's what we're after for you today. So you know what? Go to our next video, take a look, but grab that information. I just wanted to perk your attention on some of those key points because it's really important to understand what we're talking about as we move forward. This has been Rich Groff from RG Performance Sales. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.